Are you considering purchasing a new construction home here in Vera Beach, Florida? Here's what you need to know and what you should expect. Let's jump right into it. Here in Vero Beach, Florida, there are five main builders. So I'm gonna take you through each one of those. If you're looking at new construction here in Vero Beach, Florida, you're gonna notice that there are five main builders. In this video, I'm gonna take you through and give you a little bit of information about each one of those five main builders. So stay tuned, here we go. The first builder we're gonna talk about is GHO. GHO is a renowned builder here in the Florida region, well known and sought after in large part due to its GHO tailor-made program and its impressive design studios. We have one right here in Vero Beach. Their program allows home buyers to customize their homes with numerous plan options, built-ins and upgrades that exceed most of their competitors' offerings. Okay, our next um, main builder here in the area is D.R. Horton. D.R. Horton was the largest home builder with the highest gross revenue in the United States in 2022. Here in Florida, they're one of the most prominent builders offering clean, open and spacious floor plans and recently integrating smart home devices. Our next builder is Lifestyle Homes. Florida Lifestyle Homes specializes in building luxury custom homes in some of Southwest Florida's most desirable areas. It's uh, known as a premium on your lot home builder here in Southwest Florida, and they offer a professional approach to home construction that allows clients to maintain design control while also upholding materials and standards um, at a higher level. Our next home builder is one of my favorites, Devasta. It's well known for their stylish construction and resort style communities here in South Florida. They offer a quality, well-constructed home, and in some communities they offer unique features into their architecture like storm shelter closets. One of the well-known and beloved builders in the area, Pulte Homes, acquired Devasta, and the affiliation really speaks wonders to the quality of the builders. All right, so our fifth and final main um, well-known home builder here in the area is Miranda Homes. It's well-known as an affordable and quality builder in the area. It's very popular with families looking to build on their own lot, just like lifestyle. And what they lack in luxury, they make up for in affordability and accessibility. It's really a great building option for that. So why choose new? A couple of the reasons are that everything is new. You have builder warranties, you have manufacturer warranties, um, it's, the homes are constructed according to the latest building codes, you have original ownership, and a lot of times you get the latest home devices and styles, i.e. central vacuum systems or wall unit vacuums used to be all the rage, but now everyone has a Roomba. So the latest and greatest home features change with the times. Smart home devices and energy efficient materials, architecture and appliances typically are come with the new construction build. So you're getting the latest in home constructions. Most builders will have an in-house lender that they will incentivize you to use by offering things like covering a portion of your closing costs, which can range between two to 3% of your purchase price. Uh, closing costs include things like taxes and your lender fees and a lot of other costs that are incurred when you buy a property. Having this covered by the in-house lending incentives could save you thousands of dollars. Okay, here's what you should be aware of. So um, when dealing with in-house lenders, you need to check costs with your traditional mortgage broker. You need to make sure that the in-house lender isn't just rolling the expense of the closing costs somewhere else into the loan to recoup the costs, like into a slightly higher interest rate or an elevated purchase price. And sometimes your independent mortgage brokers can even meet or match the incentive. So you really want to do your homework. Another thing you might want to know is it can take a long time and completion dates aren't guaranteed with new home builds. So it is common that you have a, a anticipated completion date and the completion of your home does have to be extended past that. It can be a number of weeks, can be a number of months. We've seen these things happen. We've also seen them get done before the completion date. So that is definitely a variable you should consider. 
before you undertake new home construction. You also want to do your own due diligence on your lot. We have seen it where a client purchased a home on a specific lot with the intention to put a pool, but can't come to find out that their specific lot wasn't eligible for a pool. The builder's not looking out for them and they didn't do their checks until way too late in the process to change their mind without losing a significant amount of their deposit money. So you have to do your due, all of your due diligence even though it is a new construction build. We also really encourage having the home inspected as well. Another thing you wanna know is it's typically more expensive to buy new. So think of it like TV shopping or better yet, car shopping. You're going to pay the premium for the new item versus the used item. In our case, the used item would be a resale home. Another thing you wanna make sure to do is get blue tape happy. And what I mean about blue tape happy is on your final walkthrough, um, there's usually gonna be a representative from the builder, your point of contact, and he's gonna give you a roll of colored tape. It's usually blue tape. And he gives you the opportunity to go through the house and put blue tape on anything that is, um, uh, like a blemish or let's say there's a chip in the wall or there's a chip in your countertop or there's a spot that didn't get painted the right way. Whatever is a, like a blemish in your home or an issue, you get to the opportunity to address it then. So don't be shy with the blue tape. That is your opportunity to get anything addressed that needs to be addressed. And remember, I always tell everybody, whether it's a resale house or new construction, no home is perfect right out the gate. You're going to have little things and little issues when you're building an entire house from the ground up. So make sure you take your time. We always tell everybody, make sure you take your time on that final inspection so that at the end of the day, when you sign off uh, for it, you're really happy with the home that you got and all of your concerns were addressed. All right, so it's imperative that you dot your I's and you cross your T's just like you would in a traditional resale home purchase. I 1000% recommend that you have a real estate agent involved in this process as your representative. It's a common misconception that you don't need an agent if you buy new construction. A lot of people make this mistake. You have to remember the builder is the seller. Their primary interest is selling you a home and making their money. You are not their client and they are not looking out for you. It's not mean, it's just business. In our area, the builder pays the realtor's commission when they sell a home with a realtor involved. So you receive free representation. You pay nothing out of pocket for having that realtor alongside of you. Another set of well-trained eyes and ears to look out for your best interest and advocate for you through this process. If you'd like to connect with our group of agents at the Carroll Home Team, all of which I think are stellar humans and fantastic at what they do, click that link in the video up there and let me explain a little bit more about what you can expect working with us. Okay, so choosing the right community. There are so many options when it comes to new construction, especially in our current market. Whether you feel more comfortable going with one of the more well-known companies in the area or something or someone that is a little bit smaller operation or more hyper local, you have options. A good place to start is determining your comfortable price range and establishing your must have features in a home. Things like square footage, bed and bath count, any particular area you need to be in, for example, close to Interstate 95 because you commute, or things like, I need a three car garage because we have a golf cart. These must have features are going to help you and us as your agent narrow your very best options and help you get your new home locked in. If you're buying in a very new community that is still undergoing complete construction, it is going to be imperative that you study the plans for the community as a whole so you understand what the end result will look like and what amenities that will be available to you. Things like clubhouses, tennis courts, walking paths, pool, and your homeowners association obligations if you're building in a structured HOA community. Connect with us today and together we can explore your best options and answer any questions you may have. Myself and my team are here to provide you with exceptional service and expertise. Thanks for tuning in. If you did enjoy this video, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful content. And as always, let us know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. See you in the next video.